In this video scribe, I'm going to talk to you about the effects of exercise on the human body. Please use this as a revision tool. You can pause and stop start as you go along and uh, it'll be really beneficial in assisting you with note taking as well. OK, so to start with, you can characterise the effects of exercise in the three ways. They can be immediate effects, they can be short term effects and long term effects of exercise on the human body. As soon as you start to exercise and while you continue exercising, you will experience the immediate effects. First off, you will notice you will feel hotter as your body temperature increases. You will sweat and your skin will redden, especially on your face. This occurs as part of your body's temperature control system. As you continue to exercise, your heart rate will increase as your heart is working harder to deliver oxygen to the working muscles, which is what we've learned about previously. We did that in the last chapter, and I'm sure you can all talk in much more depth about that. You will also breathe more deeply and more frequently as your body delivers more oxygen to the working muscles. Okay, so the short term effects of exercise, these can occur any time between 24 to 36 hours after you've finished exercising. Okay, you may experience muscle cramps 24 to 36 hours afterwards. Possibly you could feel lightheaded. If you've been working extremely hard, you may even feel nauseous, so that sort of sick feeling. Your muscles will probably ache a little. This is 24 to 36 hours after you know vigorous exercise, you're going to be getting these feelings. You may experience DOMS if your exercise was of a high intensity. Okay, DOMS, what we've looked at before, so it stands for the delayed onset of muscle soreness, usually, you know, two days later even perhaps, people sort of get, the, uh, get those sorts of effects. And finally, you will feel tired and possibly very fatigued. And fatigued is a word that you need to know the exact definition for, so it's the physical fatigue, is a feeling of extreme or severe tiredness due to the buildup of lactic acid in the muscles or for working for a long period of time. Okay, so some of those negative short term effects, such as feeling fatigued, lightheaded, nauseous, they're quite common until you establish a regular exercise routine. And then they're likely to disappear altogether once you've got into that familiar pattern of exercising. And then you're going to experience more the long term effects, which is what we're going to look at now. Once you've got uh, these happen, once you establish yourself a training pattern and a training routine and get and can occur after months or even years of training. They result in adaptations to the body. And these adaptations are more positive. Well, they are. They're positive adaptations that result in improved performance. Okay, So your body will change shape. And definitely for the better, because exercising helps keep body weight down. Your resting heart rate will be lower. That's called a bradycardia is the name given to this. And it's a resting heart rate of under 60 beats per minute in adults. And that would be considered bradycardi. You will see improvements in specific components of fitness, such as strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance, power. Okay, exactly which components, they depend on the type of exercise that you're doing. Your stamina will improve, so your ability to exercise for longer will improve. You'll be able to do the same exercise you were doing previously, but for a longer period of time. Long-term effect of exercise that I'm sure many of you are more interested in, your muscles will increase in size and produce greater strength. 
When a muscle is trained, small tears are created, and as they heal, they become thicker. And this process is called hypertrophy. Okay, so the exact definition, the enlargement of an organ or tissue caused by an increase in the size of its cells. When a muscle is trained, small tears created as they become thicker and increase in size. Okay, your heart will increase in size and this is called cardiac hypertrophy. It also means an increase in cardiac output. Your heart is able to deliver more blood and therefore more oxygen to the working muscles and remove more carbon dioxide and other waste products.